Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is my favorite video of the entire year. I'm going to be setting up my planner for 2023. So if you missed yesterday's video, I shared with you the planners that I wanted to use for 2023. And today we're going to actually set it up. So I have my this here. I also have some different covers because this is my current planner. But what I like to do is actually create a brand new planner i'm going to just be taking this one apart as we kind of go the first thing that i like to do is decide what cover i am going to use for the brand new year i believe i am going to use my notique cover and the reason why i want to use the notique cover is because it's croc um it is a croc cover and it matches my cash envelope so if you missed it i did launch these cash envelopes and since i launched these and i'm currently using cash envelopes it matches so well with this cover that i believe this is what i'm going to use so currently what i have in here is my inserts but i'm going to switch that cover with this cover another tool cover that i have and i'm going to use this cover and these discs for my planner for 2023 so i'm going to switch my angle so that you all can see exactly how i am going to set this up and i am super excited so let's go ahead and get started so here are my inserts this is where i keep all of my extra inserts so that i have a place that i can pull inserts and be able to add them to my planner and they stay pretty much neat and all in this book but i believe i am going to take off this cover and use this cover for next year i also have my current planner right here which has everything set up so we're going to be taking this one apart these are all the planners that i was using for 2022 right here and then i I also have all of the planners that I am using for 2023 along with the cover that I'm going to switch over for my current insert planner. So let's pull off this cover. Okay, so this is my new insert book. And now I'm going to add this to this one for my planner. And the best way that I do this is I will kind of pull it apart and then add the disc almost at an angle to make it go on a little bit easier. It's almost like I'm slightly bending the cover this makes it really easy for the disc to slide on. So now that we have the disc on, now I'm just going to put this planner next to my current planner and start to move things over. So I am going to take over my cover and I am going to move over my dividers so these are the dividers that I do sell within my shop and they are clear which I love because it allows me to still be able to see my pages so the first planner is my schedule planner this one is completely full so we're just gonna add in November at the very back so this finishes off this planner. We're gonna pull over the new one and add in this planner. So we have the goals, future planning, routines, and then it starts the month. I am going to add in my top divider here. I also sell these within my shop and I use them as top dividers and bottom dividers and that will be that for this particular section. My next divider is my to-do section and this will be the one that we're going to use for 2023. 
gonna also add in my top divider. My next planner is going to be my social media planner. This is the only planner that I already have started the month of December. So I'm actually just pulling this over from my older planner. And the reason why is because I had to plan for Vlogmas. And since I had to plan for Vlogmas, I had to set up the month of December within my planner. So I'm just going to pull over the pages that I already set up for the month and I already have some note pages in here and everything because I'm scripting. So this one I'm just pulling over. I also have a bottom divider here. If you don't know how I use my top and bottom dividers, for my top dividers, they are always planners. For my bottom dividers, I use them for my insert pages. So these are pages that are not planners, but they are inserts that kind of correlate with that particular section. So for my social media section, I have a planner that's associated with social media, but then I also have inserts that I will use for additional things that I need to plan out. And this is my ideas bottom tab. And I just have additional ideas on here so that I can keep a running list of the different things that I want to post. The next tab is my faith tab. And this one is going to be my horizontal planner. The next planner is going to be my budget planner. So I'm going to take the beginning pages and also the first month out of here. And we are going to set this up later. But for my budget planner, I just finished my chart that I was using for the month of November to save $1,000. Um, and so I'm just going to take all of this out and put this back into my budget planner. This one is really full. <laughs> So I think I can fit these pages on here because I also have some additional inserts in here like saving charts and things like that. So this one's really full. Woo. I might have to switch this one to bigger rings. But for now, we'll keep that there. I'm gonna add in my divider and behind here, I'm gonna add in my holiday budget so this is just some inserts that I was using in order to get me prepped and ready for saving for the holidays. So it's specifically for just budgeting for the holidays. I usually keep a separate budget. I added a tab for that and I do have some additional inserts in here for budgeting and gifts and travel and things like that. And the last planner or section that I have in here is my commonplace section. So originally when I was talking to you all yesterday, I was telling you that I was gonna keep it as note pages because that's what I was using. I was using one of my notebooks in order to kind of keep track of all of my commonplace pages, but I think I am going to switch it back to a vertical planner. I think I do like to decorate on the vertical spreads, especially when I'm doing stickers and stuff. So. I'm gonna try it out. If I end up switching, then I'll just switch it back. But I'm gonna add these pages back into my notebook and we're gonna use a vertical planner for this one. This is one of those sections where I will switch it from month to month, just depending on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I want it to be a vertical planner and that way I can be very creative in the boxes. I can add quotes and add in different things. And then other times I don't. Other times I want it to be line pages like this so that I can just kind of fill out the entire page just like I have here. It just depends on how I feel. So many times I will go back and forth between the two. Currently I am feeling more of the vertical style. So that's what we're gonna start off with. And I can still keep all of the pages within the same planner. 
even if I decide to change my mind. So that's it. Everything is currently out of this planner and now all in here. We are set up for 2023 and here are all of the planners that I have just put into this book. My commonplace, my budget, my schedule, to do, social media, and faith and I'm prepped and ready. So in tomorrow's video, we're going to be setting up my goals page, which is the very first page within my planner. And I'm going to be talking about my word of the year and my goals for 2023. So I am super excited to get into that one, but I love the way that this looks. I feel like it's gonna look great whenever I am packing it up because you see how well those two go together? Like really loving this. I feel like it looks very sleek and nice black gold and white are just my favorite colors i really love the sleekness of this particular style so i will see you all in tomorrow's video until then keep organizing your life so you can achieve your dreams bye guys my word of the year now the word of the year is probably more important than the little goals that i have set getting away from that thought process and just trying to find my own way that i want to do this thing called ministry